Well, <clears throat> hello and welcome again to our reading of Theocritus, it all one, and we're up to line, well, one, two, seven, one, two, eight. And we saw here a change in the um, refrain. So we, instead of archite, begin, we have legate, cease. So cease, O muses, come cease from your pastoral song. Uh, nth ornax, now this is from Elthe, so come, onax is O anax, come, O lord. Feru is the um, imperative, this is the middle imperative, so um, bring this uh, melipnoon, this sweet blowing syringa pipe. Um, well, we have to understand made from or set um, or made from pactoria cairo. The cairo, this is a genitive, made with hardened wax or set with hardened wax. This is connected with pagnumi. Um, and this is a tricky little bit here. The kalon probably adverbial, well helictan wound around the lip. That is where the reed is, it's been nicely wound and tied together. So this is describing the way the this syrinx has been made. So bring the this sweet blowing pipe set with hardened wax and well wound around the lip. For um, indeed a day now. Helkamai, I am being dragged, so Egon, I am being dragged uh, into Hades by Eros. Very important and powerful line. So for indeed I am now being dragged by Eros into Hades. Legati bucolicas musai iti legati aoidas. So, cease, O oh muses, come cease from your bupastral song. Nun ia men for eoi te batoi. Now we have these optatives of wish here. So, may the violets bear batoi, um, sorry, no, it's, this is the subject here, isn't it? So this is the so may the batoi may the brambles bear violets we get a nice men and deck here so may the bramble bushes bear violets and um, it's it's you plural so it is actually speaking to the the bramble trees so now may you bramble trees bear violets and may you bear acanthoi. Acanthoi, well perhaps um, acanthus or perhaps thorns here I think. May you bear, so these are optatives, second person plural. Um, and the beautiful Narcissus let that commasi um, let the fair Narcissus bloom on the um, Arcuthoisin, these are the junipers, on the juniper. So let the, far, the fair Narcissus bloom upon the juniper. Uh, Anulla is a, a rare word, it simply means um, something which is different. Um, the so uh, may all things be altered, may all things be, be changed. The commasi here, by the way, is from Kumao, it's to put, put down its leaves. So it's literally, let the beautiful Narcissus put its leaves upon the juniper. And may all things be, be changed. And may the pitus, this is the pine tree, uh, Enakai, this is connected with Pharaoh, uh, Enenkon, 
and Nakai is connected with the Zenerist in Peregrine of Pharaoh, so let it let the pine tree bear Ochnas pears since Daphnis the Maske, since Daphnis is dying. And let the now the Olafos is hot Elephos. This is the, the stag, the deer. So let the deer Helkoi tear apart the dogs. Cakes, this is for Kai X, and the Scopes, um, the owls. Uh, the verb here is, this is in, in, again optative, the verb here means something like to outsing or to rival in song. So let the owls buy in song or rival in song, or perhaps outdo in song, the nightingales. Legati pokolikas moisai iti legati aoidas. Ko for kai hot, he having said such things, we get another men in the debt, uh, apepalsato. Literally, he, well, he just stopped, he ceased. Um, and Aphrodite, Athel, she wanted an orthosi to restore him. Ta geman lina pantaleloipe ek moiran. But indeed, all the lina, these are the threads, all the threads from the fates, leloipai, pay, had run out. It's probably a pluperfect here. They had all run out, and Daphnis, we have this beautiful expression here, very almost mystical here, Eba Ra'on, literally he stepped into the stream. What is the stream here? Well, that, that's much has been written on that, and I'll leave you to read the commentaries. Eklusadina, now, the Dina is the whirling waters, the almost like a whirlpool, the swirling waters, Eclusin. Um, this is flooded over him. So, the, the whirling, the Dina, the whirling water flooded over the man who was Philon, dear to the muses, the man not hateful to the nymphs. Legati pukolikas moisai iti legati aoidas. Now the poem, the next few lines, the poem, that's it, that's the end of the of the poem of, of the recitation of the goat herd. And quite suddenly this intense spell of the song is broken by this very down to earth uh, give me the, the goat and the cup. And it's quite dramatic given the almost mystical lines we have up here about the death of, da of um, Daphnis. And then suddenly the goat herd finishes and says, you, to he's speaking to the Ipolis, you give me the goat and the skufos, the cup, uh, so that having milked it, that is the goat, spaso, I might pour libation to the muses. O oh, farewell many times, O oh, muses, farewell. I, Aiso, I will sing to you, Aharion, Behedion, more sweetly also, Es Husteron, well, hereafter, in another, at another time. The Ipolos then has this beautiful line here, Pleres toi melitos to kalon stoma thirsi genoito. Um, may your beautiful mouth, O Thyrsus, be full of honey, full of scadonone, this is honeycomb, and trogois, in uh, optative of wish, may you munch literally, so may you eat, the iscada, the the Hadeam Iskara, the sweet fig from Aegilos. Now, Aegilos was an eponymous hero of the Attic deem Aegilia, and it was famous for its figs.
Now the iskada actually here is um, plural, so the hadian I think must be taken. Um, no, 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 this is not. I iskada is going to be accusative, but it's a singular for plural. So may you eat the sweet fig, literally we'd say sweet figs from Aegilus. Since Aedas, you sing, that's the two gas, and so you in fact sing better um, than, a uh, gender of comparison, uh, better than a cicada, a tetinx. Um, Aenidi, behold, here is the cup for you. So, behold, here is your cup. Darsai, um, take a good look at it, my friend. Uh, how Osde, it's how beautiful it smells, how sweet it smells. So take note, O oh friend, how lovely it smells. Docesas, Docesas, you would think it, Peplusthai from Pluno, it had been washed in the streams of the hours. Now the hours, of course, were daughters of Zeus and Themis, associated with beauty and fruitfulness. And then the final two lines just bring us right back to where the, to the um, the whole surrounding area, and then bring us right back to to Earth, um, reminding us that these are in fact goat herds, and we are in the middle of a rustic setting. So he says, uh, "Ord ithi kisaitha, uh, come here, kisaitha." Now kisaitha is a she goat, um, and you um, milk her. And you, Kimairai, you she goats, do not skirt a sete. This is ume plus the subjunctive, the strong negation. So don't uh, leap around, may, lest the tragos, the he goat, uh, anaste, well, not quite clear that this is a very ambiguous word, um, it can mean. Um, stand up, that is simply, literally get off the ground because of you. It may mean that Anastay to rouse himself, to excite himself sexually because of you. Or Anastay, it might mean to stand on his hind legs um, about to try and have intercourse with you. So it's very cleverly put as the last word here and it's meant to be humorous and ambiguous. And that is the end of Idle 1.